Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like the video. Aw oh, man. <laughs> hey girl. Hey, Anna. Okay guys, since it's so cruddy outside, we have a lot of stuff to do today in the main heated shop. Let me show you what we're gonna do. This truck here, AKA Dad's truck, really needs cleaned out. The cab's not any better. Dad's gonna put a new battery on this truck because, well, he doesn't know how to put in a battery and the other day he kinda maybe ruined one. Well, it's five years old, so I think it was shot. He ruined it. We still got the ag cams on the Brent V700 grain cart here. We need to tear those off. This is a demo unit, so this is going back to Unverfirth. We need to clean the cab out on this tractor, and then we're gonna crawl under the machine and grease everything. We need to do the same for the John Deere as well. This is our grain cart, and it doesn't have ag cams on it, so we don't need to pull anything off that. Combine here, hoo hoo, the combine. We have to pull all the guards and stuff off. Sounds like Ryan, the combine mechanic, is gonna be coming down, maybe, possibly, and he wants to blow off the machine with his big air compressor, and then he does his fine tooth comb inspection while everything is fresh and then he can see what's wearing what's not so he might be coming down today Let's see what else oh yeah the sprayer cab that did not get cleaned out last spring when we got done with it so I'm gonna climb up in there and we're gonna get that cleaned out nobody likes going to get in something in the springtime when you're ready to rock and roll and then you got a dirty cab that you got to clean out so we're gonna do it now when we have time and then we have a few things like over here where daddy cornstar was having a project and he didn't really put everything away so we're gonna pick this up and then if we have time these shelves oh yes these shelves very very, very, very handy to have, but I'm not really having it how they're organized. So if we have time, we'll fix these. All right, let's start with the truck. Messy, 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 messy. Messy, 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 messy. Messy, 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 me Wait, this is actually clean, never mind. Messy, 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 messy. Messy, 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 messy. Oh, hey, isn't it? <laughs> you're not messy. No, you're a good dog.
right guys, here's what we got done today. Sprayer cab, cleaned. Also, moved sprayer over and moved adjacent items under sprayer. We'll call this their winter home. John Deere, cab, clean. Still needs to be greased. We did blast it with the power washer real quick. We're not gonna get it super, super clean because this is still gonna be on the grain cart here over winter time and it's gonna get a lot of grain dust and stuff on it so no point getting it all super clean because it's just gonna be getting filthy here in a couple weeks. Grain cart also cleaned, still needs to be greased. Chaff Mountain's been created, it needs to be taken out of here. Ha ha ha! The new one broke. Good job, Dad. No, I can't move it, I broke both of them. Well, the old one is broke already. We stuck a new spout on the end of the auger here. Cooper power washed the new Brent V700 grain cart. We wanted it nice and clean before it goes back to Unverfirth. Don't worry guys, we will be doing a review on this cart. We just haven't got to it yet. Soon, very soon. Same thing with the case, cab's clean, still needs to be greased. We just blasted it with the power washer quick. Like I said, not super, super clean because this is gonna be pulling the other cart that's identical to this one. And they get pretty dusty in the big machine shed. Combine has been blown down with air. Ryan did a really good job. Cooper blasted it with the power washer once. Usually we gotta wash it about three times before you get everything off. We got the shields off the combine. Still gotta take the trash out. And dad managed to break the truck again. Dad kinda cleaned out his truck. He got the inside a lot better. Dad also went and covered a grave today, so he's been out and about in the cold weather and it's super, super windy, so I'm pretty sure he's happy to be in the shop. Yes. And that's basically all that we did today. Took a little while, not necessarily the most fun stuff, but it's relaxing. It's a nice little change of pace, first being in the cab of the combine every single day, moving stuff around the shop here, cleaning stuff up. Pretty soon we're gonna be starting to do a lot of work on stuff. We got different semis we need to work on, semi trailers. We got different pieces of equipment, some stuff's not working, we need to get fixed, different lights are not working on stuff, things like that. And then we're gonna go through the planner and stuff because springtime is coming up before we know it. I know winter's not even here yet, but spring gets there like that and we still got a lot of stuff we gotta do to get ready for planting. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute. Okay guys, I just wanted to take a minute to thank everybody who's ever sent us any fan mail or sent us any packages or anything. We thoroughly enjoy all the ketchup we've been getting, all the wrenches we've been getting, all the shop supplies we've been getting, and just all the letters that everyone sent us. It's really cool reading where everyone's from and seeing everyone's background in the farming world or little kids sending in stuff. Please send it, I'll read it, and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'd like to send a thank you out to every single person who sent something, but I'd be spending a lot of time sending stuff out. I'm going to do a better job of sending stuff back, but if you put your Instagram or something in the letter that you send me or an email or something like that, I can correspond that and I will send you a personal video back if you do something like that. Holiday cards have already started rolling in. We got a sweet drawing right here. I don't know his name, because he didn't write it, but he likes Case IH. So if you want a nice video from me or something, thanking you for a letter or Whatever, please don't send any more ketchup. We have a lot. <laughs> Be sure to include your email or something like that in your letter or package that you send and I'll be able to send that to you a lot, a lot, lot, lot sooner than otherwise. I just took about 27 tries to say what I've been trying to say here. <laughs>